Hi, welcome back. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for you. And today I want to talk to you about book page. What can you do with book page? I was looking for my blank book page and uh, found some things that I had already done. And I got this idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. What she did was she just took this old book and she started to put ideas in it so that when she went to use it, she would have some things ready. So what I did was I stamped some butterflies in different colors and I just love this. Meanwhile, I forgot where I put this and so I'm just finding it now. So then um, I was getting ready to do something in it today and I found that I had already worked in this one so I'm happy to find these because I've already used some of these for um, page edgings and uh, decorated them with lace and things and so yeah this was a lot of fun I did extra stamping so that I would have them ready and so yeah I'm really happy to find this then I also did some doodling that was fun too. Uh, I was trying my corners because I didn't really have a stamp for corners so I wanted something to put in corners. Then I decided to do some vines and again with the page strips I folded this and um, the idea was to have like a straight line but different doodles. Then I saw mark making and so I started mark making with the acrylic paint pens that my sister lovingly gave me for my birthday and so I did some mark making of different kinds and I really like the gold. I, I am a sucker for gold so there's that. Then I did some other stuff. I hope I still have some blank pages in here for what I want to do today. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I mean, some of it I might use, some of it I might not use, but it's something, I, you know, you might hit upon something you really like. Okay, so I do have a couple of pages that can still, I can still add a few more things. So what I wanted to do today was actually paint. Um, paint, watercolor paint. And the reason I was thinking of this was because I need to make some more cards. And I just really love how it looks when you do this really simple technique. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried painting on book page, but there's something really wonderful about it when you paint it. Here, I'll show you. So I'll just put like the center and I'm just giving, I'm trying to make a flower, but I'm not saying I'm any good at it. So you just kind of go around. So I am using a round brush. Don't know if that matters to anybody, but so again, just going around. I don't know if you can see this, but it's drying super fast. And so, um, yeah, that one didn't work out too well. That's okay, I'll just keep going. I'll use different colors in the same kind of family. That's good.
I also mix colors as I'm going so that they, I get a variety. And then when this one is done, I will cut it up and put it on a on the front of a card. I usually do smaller, smallish cards. And I need some green for the leaves. I'm not too particular about the paints I use. I mean, I bought some cream colored paints. I think they're called Magic Fly? Cube. Yeah, Magic Fly. I just bought a set of these on Amazon. Nothing spectacular, but I like them. And look, this is what I I marvel at when I think of paint watercolor painting on book page. It it hardly transfers through. So and yet it dries really fast. I like that. It to me that just it you know, it says that it absorbs really quickly. And then I'm just gonna put like the indication of some leaves here. And again, you can use different greens. You can mix them up, do whatever you want. And this does totally not have to be precise. I am not. I, I dabble in watercolor, like literally. I just dab it in. I dabble in the paint. <laughs> I dab it on the page. So it's really not any skill involved here as far as I can see just throwing it on and then just keep going until you're happy with how full the page is And it's really fun. I mean, you can do different colors, obviously. Do whatever you want. But that is what I want to do today. And let's see. If I take... What I usually do is take a piece of cardstock, 8.5 by 11 inches. I cut that in half. And that's about the size of my card. So if I can find some... There we go. I already had some ready and I didn't know what to do with them. So something like this pink or this green, uh, maybe even the purple. I think the yellows would need a different. So if I cut this page in half, it should roughly do. Pretty well dry already. I think there's nothing coming up there. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. gravitate towards the pink first so what I like to do is like trim the borders and then put this with just a little bit of the 
um, cardstock showing through. So let me just trim it by the where the words end here. And it's a little too small for my liking, so what I might do is put something like a mat in between this and that. Um, let's see, what can I do? I don't know if this will work. It might be too dark. It actually might be really nice. I think I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So yeah, these are so easy. They take relatively no time. And um, I don't know. I think they look really nice. It actually looks really good on the black. Maybe because the the words are in black. It kind of ties it together. Something like that. And then if you want to move it up or down, you still have room for a sentiment. I like it. I'm going to seal the deal right here. Oops. I do kind of want it straight. The only thing that would make this any better would be the addition of some gold. <laughs> okay, yeah, you got me. Um, I don't really want to do a splatter today. I just don't feel like doing a splatter. But what I could do is, I mean, a splatter would have looked really good if I felt like doing a splatter. I don't really. Um, I could either do the, there's, there's so many ways of getting gold on something. I probably don't need to even mention it. Um, I think there was still some in my brush, so I actually have a little bit already on there. I don't know if it shows up or not, but it shows up for me in person. So what I was thinking of doing um, is rounding the corners. And then see, you can write inside whatever you like. Just even this up a little. Okay, so then I was thinking, um, I have this brush with gold on it. So you could just kind of do the sides. I think this brush had gold watercolor on it, so it's kind of stiff right now because I didn't put it in water. And then just Give it a little accent. There you go. Oops. Just a little bit. I mean, you can barely even see it, but it's there. And it will show up for the person. And just keep going until See a little bit there. Okay, so that is a card right there. 
And doesn't that look like somebody went to a lot of work to make that? So let's see what happens if we put it on green. I'm just gonna make this one a smidge taller. Of course you could use bigger paper. I don't know if I want it on purple though. It actually might not look too bad on purple. I'd probably go for the green. <laughs> probably either one really. But I do like the green, so I'm going to go with the green. But there, that's one card. Maybe I would want to trim the black, round out the corners on the black. And this is just um, cheap cardstock from the dollar store, so I don't feel bad about using it. Yeah, I like to have these cards around because to me they're all occasion cards and I can use them for any any occasion. Because they're blank. I mean, face it, when you send a card, it's going to either be for a happy occasion or possibly a sad occasion. In which case, you know, happy, so flowers are happy. Flowers can cheer people up. So in that sense, uh, I'm just gonna trim this down just a bit. And then too, you can still decorate them up some more if you like. I think actually my card, or I did a bad job trimming that, but in the end, it really doesn't matter. Do you want it on the edges here though? I was thinking I might like some of this on the on the black. Something like that. Kind of messed it up a little, but that's okay. But yeah, isn't that wonderful how quickly that watercolor dries on the book page? I mean, I have not really stopped to let it dry and I just continued on my way with the project and there's been no smearing. So, again, I could do some more of that on the edge here, but I think I'm gonna just say that's done. Maybe get that edge down a bit more. So, 
So yeah. We made cards. I was right out, so I need some. And these are great if you want to send happy mail. And um, yeah, they're fun. What can I say? So I hope you enjoyed that. Got some ideas. Maybe you've seen that before and you just forgot about it. And uh, maybe you haven't tried it yet, but maybe you really should. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.